Hey guys, Jay here, welcome to Yanza Battle, and today I'm going to show you how to create some Chaos Blood Gutter bases. Here are the paints I'll be using. You can find a list of materials in the description below. To make the chaotic streets, the first thing I did was I traced my bases onto some foam core board. I then cut out that section of foam core, and then on the back I carefully peeled off the paper. Next, I used my hobby knife to carefully cut through the top paper layer of the foam core. And then I did a second pass to cut through the foam layer so that I could finish cutting out the bases. And then I glued my sections of foam core onto the bases using some super glue. Next, I used a ruler to mark out some quarter inch sections that are going to become my blood gutters. I cut out these sections with my hobby knife, and I also scraped away any remaining foam. If you guys are enjoying the video and you have ideas for videos you'd like to see us do in the future, please leave them in the comments below. Next, I cut out some shapes to decorate my chaotic streets. I'm using some Games Workshop box cardboard, but you could also use a cereal box. I cut myself some very small strips and some half inch by half inch tiles. I glued the strips around the edges of the blood gutters. And then I filled up the rest of the bases with the tiles. Make sure to leave a small gap in between your tiles. Once that was dry, I used my hobby knife to cut away all the cardboard that hung over the bases. And then I mix a little bit of wall spackle and Elmer's glue, and then I stipple that onto the bases to create a little bit of texture. If you like our stuff, stay tuned for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Once that was dry, I primed all the models black. I'm using an airbrush, but you could also do this with a rattle can. Next, I gave all the bases a heavy dry brushing with some P3 Iron Hull Gray. Next, I did a lighter dry brushing with some Vallejo Stonewall Gray. And lastly, I did a very light dry brushing with some white paint. To make the blood for my blood gutters, I mixed a little bit of Games Workshop Corn Red into some two-part epoxy. The epoxy I'm using is Loctite Heavy Duty Epoxy, and the nice thing is it's so thick it doesn't want to run off the base. After that, I stippled on some Games Workshop Blood for the Blood God Technical Color onto the bases. If you followed along with this video, please post your work to Instagram and tag Eons of Battle so that we can share it. Then I added a small puddle of Blood for the Blood God in the middle of my stippling. And to finish off the bases, I painted the skirt of the base black. And there are three finished Chaos Blood Gutter bases. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.